Hey guys, my name's Aaron from Geek Emmy Development and welcome to our Swift Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to create a random number generator. We're going to talk about how to randomly generate a value within our application and display it to our users. Before we move on to talk about how we can then control the content within our application, all depending on what was randomly generated within our app. So let's jump straight into it. Okay then, so to create our random number generator, I have my project already set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Swift Random Number for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is jump into our main Dutch storyboard. From here, we're gonna design our interface. Now there's a number of things we're gonna do with this random number generator. So first, we're gonna start off by simply creating the generator and making sure that it randomly generates and displays any number that we give it to. Okay, so from with our view here, we're gonna select our files owner and change it from inferred size, I'm gonna choose the larger iPhone screen there so we know what we're working with. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna add a button. Now this button, when triggered, will generate and display a random number within the label that we're gonna have underneath it. So I've placed that in and I'll center it out and I'll center the text from within it so it looks a little bit better. Okay then, so the first thing we're gonna do is simply generate the number before we move on to something a little bit more complex. So we've got these two objects in and what we're gonna do is bring up the assistant editor. And we need to make sure that we have our view controller.swift within the assistant editor here. And I'll just move all this over here so you can clearly see what we're doing. So what we need to do is create an action for the button and an outlet for the label. So we're gonna start with our outlet first. So I'll space that out there. And we need to um, simply right click or control click and drag our label over to our little outlet section here. Now I simply make sure it's slightly on outlet and we're gonna call it label. So it's easy enough to understand when we come to coding it. And for our action button, we place it down below. And again, we do the same principle, drag it over, but this time we make sure it's selected on action. And we simply name it random number. There we go. And again, make sure the event is touch upon inside and connect that in. Okay, so we created our action outlet for these two objects. We're now gonna close the assistant editor and jump back straight into our standard editor. And then we're gonna go ahead over to our view controller dot swift. From within here, we're gonna space out our random number button. So you can clearly see what we're typing. And this is where we can now begin to create our random number generator. So the first thing we need to do is create our variable of our let uh, for our random number generator and make that equal a kind of value, a random value. Whatever that random value is, we're gonna take it and then display that within our label. So how this works, when we create our variable let, so we simply type out let, and I simply name it random number gen and all that's going to do is equal our kind of random function and then we type in our arc for random underscore uniform and then we do two brackets now in between the two brackets is going to be a value now depending on how big the size of the value depends on how many numbers it's going to generate for example if i put the number three in then it's going to randomly generate three values or three numbers now, you're going to think, you're going to work a little bit backwards because you would think I put in the number three and it's going to generate numbers one, two, and three, which, yeah, it's possible. It's going to generate three numbers, but not in that order. You need to remember it always starts at the number zero. So if I put the number three in, it's going to generate three numbers from zero, one, and two. So if you want to generate numbers up to 10, you would have to put the number 11 in. If you want to generate numbers up to 100, you need to put the number 101 in. You always need to compensate for that number zero being generated. So in this tutorial, we're going to have numbers zero to 10 generated, which means I had to put the number 11 in because we always have to compensate for that number zero. So now we got that in, we're then going to get that value that gets randomly generated and display it within our label. So we get our label, let me do dot text to equal a string. Now the reason we're making it equal to string is because we need to get that variable and convert it to display within our label. And what the string is gonna equal is our random number gen from the variable just above, which again, that's gonna equal whatever gets generated with um, the kind of number within the generator. So again, what's basically gonna happen when we press the button, 
our number, our kind of random number, is going to get generated and placed within our variable of our random number gen, and then get displayed within the string within the label. And this is all going to happen when we press our button, thus creating our random number gen. So if we go to board and run a test out to make sure it's working and to see exactly how we can use it. So we got our button here and we press it and it randomly generates that number. So whatever it generates within between 0 to 10 then gets displayed within our label. So we can keep pressing it and again we've only got kind of well basically 11 numbers 0 to 10 to generate so some of them are going to repeat because we don't have a huge kind of um, pile of numbers that can randomly be displayed. But there we go and you can see it just generates over and over. Now if I changed it down to a lower number, for example, let's go with 3. So this would generate between 0, 1 and 2. And we can see how it works. Now they're going to repeat a lot. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1. See there. So they're going to repeat a lot because there's not many kind of options for it to generate 2. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is change it back to 11. Okay. So we're going to change back to 11 and now we're going to take it a step further. We're going to now trigger actions or trigger a different label, something else in the application, depending on what number gets generated. So what we're going to do is we jump into the main.storyboard and we can understand it better when we add our objects. Okay, so every time we press our button, it's going to randomly generate a number. As well as generating a number, we're going to take that step further to then trigger a kind of function statement. Within that function statement, it's going to have a few if statements. For example, if the number four got generated, then display this text in this label. Or if the number seven got generated, display this text in this label. We can now perform actions or trigger actions depending on what number got displayed. So we're going to drag and drop in our another label here, space it out, now I center it, and what we're going to do is make the text a little bit bigger, so we can clearly see it when it gets popped up and displayed. I'm then going to bring up the assistant editor and drag and drop that in. And I'll just simply call this one label two and connect that up. Okay, so we've got that in. We'll close our assistant editor back to our standard editor and jump into our view controller.swift. Right, so we need to create this new function statement. And how we do this is type in our function here. Now I name this random output. There are two parentheses there and its own um, parentheses brackets on the end there so we can perform the actions. So within this, when this gets called, it's going to have its own if statements. So with these 0 to 10 numbers that we can generate, we're going to do an if statement. So if our label dot text is equal equal to, let's say, with our string here, the number 4, then within it, it's going to get our label 2 dot text to equal hello something nice and simple so every time the random generator generates the number four then it's going to trigger this action to simply display hello in the second label but how are we going to get this function to call upon it every time it's generated now this is pretty simple back within our button it's going to call this function statement every time we trigger our button and to do that we do self dot and then the name of our new function statement which is random output just like that so if you go to build and run now just got to hope that number four doesn't get generated straight away because i want to show you it working when we don't equal number four so if i press it number three and the label does not change because it only would change the only thing it can read if the label equals number four so if i press it again and we have to keep pressing it now until I get number four. So I've got number four on the uh, third try. And because it equals number four, it displays hello. Now, if I press it again, nothing's going to happen at all. So what I could possibly do is create an else statement. So else label two dot text is going to equal good bye. Nice and simple there. So if Every time it generates a number that's not four, it's going to display goodbye in the second label. So goodbye until I randomly pick number four. Now this could take a while. There we go, number four, hello. So we can trigger actions depending on what our random number generator displays 
with the output it's given. And you can add on to this, you can do many things. It's great for, let's say if you're creating a game and you want to use it to solve a puzzle and they can only unlock the next level if they you know, com completed the puzzle or got something within the game. Or even if um, you were handing out loot and depending on how high their score was, depends on what they get at the end. There's a huge amount of stuff you could do with this. And the great thing is, it's, it's really simple to do. It's very, very simple. And um, you can see here, again, we just randomly generate a number Every time we generate it, it triggers this function statement, and if it equals this, do this, else if it equals this, do this. Now we can add an additional if statement to it, and I'm gonna show you that now. So rather than say else, what I'm gonna do is say else if label, the normal label, our first one, dot text is equal, equal, let's say this one's gonna be the number two, rather than say goodbye, it would say, Hola, in Spanish. And again, finally, if I create that, oh, actually you can see it a bit better. At the end, we have our else statement. Now quickly copy and paste that. To say goodbye. So if it equals number four, it's gonna say hello. Else, if it equals number two, it's gonna say hola. Else, if it doesn't equal any of those, it's going to say goodbye. So the only two times it will ever change from goodbye if it equals number two or number four. So if you build and run this time, so 10, goodbye, five. So four is hello, and hopefully we can get a number two, and two is hola. So apologies on the pronunciation. But as you can see there, we don't have to create one set of if statements. We can add on to them. Either if it, if it equals this, else if it equals this, or just simply else, if it doesn't equal any of them, do this. So we can cover all aspects of this kind of random output on the generator. So there we have it. We've created our own random number generator. And not only just to randomly generate a number and display it within a label, but how we can trigger different actions and different content within the application, or from what's being generated, again, within the app. It's a great thing to add to your applications, and hopefully you can take this as inspiration to kind of perform cooler stuff within your applications. So again, it's a great thing to add to games or even your applications at the moment. And if you do create something cool with this kind of little function or kind of little setup, and let me know in the comment section down below. But again, that's simply how you can create a random number generator within the Swift language. Hey guys, just before you go, I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you click that big like button down below. And if you'd like to further your knowledge and progress within iOS 9, Xcode 7 for Swift 2 and Objective-C, where you can learn how to create 20 real life applications, links for these will be below in the description of the video. And if you'd like to learn iOS development on the go, then make sure you check out one of our many iOS applications where you can learn how to create applications again within Objective-C and Swift. The links for these will also be in the description down below. And I'd just like to say one last time, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you out in any way, make sure you hit the big like button down below on the video and make sure you check out our website, geeklemon.com, where you can find the full source code for this tutorial and all the others we offer. And make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter so you can keep up to date with what's coming here at Geeklemon. So once more, let's thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.